So for challenge six, it's building on what you've learned in challenge five. So we're still going to input two numbers, but then the program is going to add them together and also multiply them together. So what we're going to do is I'm going to keep a lot of the program from before. So we have number one and we have number two as our two variables. We need to change those two variables into integers so that we can actually do some mathematical addition and multiplication with them. So the first time you could call it added equals number one plus number two. And then we could call a variable multiplied and put number one. And in a computer system on the keyboard, it goes plus minus times divide around the keyboard. So on the numpad plus minus times divide, the time symbol looks like this. So it looks like a star. So we're going to multiply number one by number two. And then this time we're going to print out total and we're going to print out multiplied. Now that will work perfectly well, but what I want to do is start putting some better programming into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give a little message to tell the user what's happening. So in speech marks, I'm going to say, the numbers added together are and then underneath the numbers multiplied together are and what that's going to do it's going to output the string followed by the total variable and the multiplied variable now we've changed total to added. So we enter the number, we enter the second number. Added is a variable and it's going to be number one plus number two. Multiplied is a variable and it's going to be number one times number two. Then we're going to output added and we're going to output multiplied. And we've just added these two strings in so that the user knows what's happening. Just run the program. Give it a test so 50 and 30 we should get 80 and 50 times 30 as the answer and there you go so that is challenge six completed